What's poppin' everybody? Saber Wolf 94. I finally have an expanded deck I've waited so long to show and make and run. It is going to be, of course, Mega Rayquaza EX. So I fucking love this deck for a number of reasons. Number one, of course, it's I get to use this beautiful Rayquaza EX. Rayquaza, one of my favorite Pokemon. It's nice to use a different version of Rayquaza, not just the Ray Eels and Ray Boar, you know, the standard Rayquaza stuff you guys are used to. But this guy, looking pretty good. Normal card doesn't look that great, but uh, we've got the full art. And we get to use, of course, Mega Rayquaza EX. So this Pokemon is pretty fucking broken uh, for what it was when it was released. Uh, being able to, with uh, Delta Evolution, you can Mega Evolve instantly. So if you put the Spirit Link, you can evolve the first turn. So that's the first thing that made this card uh, playable very good. HP is good, only one retreat. Useful fighting resistance. Its stats are also very good for a Pokemon that you can bring out so quick. And Emerald Break is a great attack. It's going to do 30 damage times the number of your bench Pokemon. So if you have a full bench, it does 150 for 3. That's already good. But of course, in this deck, the concept is we get to play down Skyfield, uh, put some more bench Pokemon, and you can do uh, maximum 240 damage before any other add-ons. And now, we don't really worry about add-ons anyway, because at 240 damage so easily, that's enough to knock out almost anything, man. You can knock out Stage 1 GX Pokemon, you can even knock out some Stage 2 GX Pokemon, Mega EX Pokemon, just regular EX and GX Pokemon, they all die. So, uh, even though this card came out in Ro Roaring Sky, it's been a couple of years, uh, it's holding up. It's very powerful. Best thing is that this is a colorless Pokemon, and uh, the attack is just three colorless energy. So, you can use DC, you can use any type of energy, you can combine this Rayquaza with so many Pokemon, with so many different types of Pokemon variations. Obviously, I have my own uh, style and strategy here, but you can do so many things, uh, so, so many flexibilities making this card great. Now, the regular Rayquaza X, it's not that great, uh, having to retreat and 170 HP. Uh, I guess kind of standard for any X, but not the greatest. Uh, has Intensify and Burn, that's probably on the only good thing, is that if you're going to attack any X Pokemon, you can do 60 for 1, and uh, I guess in Expanded that might be more relevant. Uh, if you exclude that, then it's not a great attack, just doing 10 for 1. And Dragon Pulse, it's just a 3 400. I guess it's not bad since you can use DC and any other energy and just do this kind of quick, maybe if you have to in an emergency, but discarding the top 3 of your cards of your deck isn't good. So hopefully we don't use this Pokemon to attack and do shit. I mean, normally you wouldn't anyway. But I think it's important to check out our basic dude, of course. You can use any other Rayquaza EX. You don't have to use this one. But this is the only colorless one. And it goes perfectly with this Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza EX. Uh, you'll see pretty soon why we're going to run it. So... I kind of want to go all over the place. It's very difficult to talk about a deck like this, decide what's important. But I guess the other reason that I really wanted to play this deck since forever is because of this card, Winona. Winoda, that's how I like to call her. But Winona, one of my favorite uh, supporters, favorite uh, trainers, gym leaders, just characters in general from Pokemon. You guys know my love for Hoenn. Uh, this is a pretty cool chick. I like the whole Fortree City thing. And her gym battle in the games is just good memories, man. Good shit. Uh, it's just a really, really cool card. And this is one of the best sort of excuses deck uh, to play her. You search your deck for up to three colorless Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So, yeah. Really, really good. It's like a Bree Jet for colorless Pokemon that can be stage one, basic, and you grab the shit to the hand. So she's really great. And some people might not run this card in this sort of Mega Rayquaza deck. It depends on your engine, depends on how you build it. Uh, mine is going to be very different from what you guys are going to see. And you guys are going to see, i uh, seeing only one uh, Shame Maniacs here. We're going to get to that pretty soon. But yeah, uh, this is basically the aim of the deck. We want to play down Skyfield, this pretty broken card that uh, you can have up to eight Pokemon on your bench. And bring out Mega Rayquaza X, set it up really quickly, attack and do lots of very good damage. 
So, like I've said, since this is a colorless Pokemon, it works with any energy, you can use all sorts of things with it. So I decided, hey, what's some of the best partners to use? And we're going to go with a dark focus here. Our other Pokemon are kind of going to be dark centric. So I got to have the Dark Cry X here. Uh, it's going to give it free retreat if I have darkness energy on my Pokemon. So that's really good. Uh, this guy can also kind of attack maybe if we ever put three darkness energy on. Uh, he's still a decent attacker, I guess, doing some snipe damage, setting up for KOs, maybe for Quaza. You probably won't attack, but maybe in games like going up against Trevenant Break or some other slower decks where they try to do some funky stuff, maybe you can have him ready and do some shit. He's not bad at all, of course. Darkrai X, the original from Dark Explorers. Next up, I got Hoopa X. Another reason why I opted to uh, run Darkness shit with this Rayquaza is this guy. There's a lot of safeguard sort of uh, uh, Pokemon immune to EX and GX Pokemon, but I think this guy is the best, being a basic Pokemon with 120 HP. He's the strongest. Super Cyborg does 80 damage. Uh, I think this is the best damage output for 3 energy from this guy, from these sort of Pokemon too. Uh, nice Psychic Resistance, I guess. Uh, fighting Energy. This, the stats are kind of standard for a Darkness Pokemon. But yeah, Hoopa, kind of good. Maybe we use this as a wall. Maybe you use this against uh, GX Pokemon. And the good thing is that uh, you just put a Darkness Energy and a DC. Since we're running DC, he can attack pretty quickly as well. Okay. So this is, I guess, the Darkness Engine. Then you got to have some sort of uh, Mega Rayquaza standard things. And the standard things is, of course, going to be things like Shaman X and fucking Hoopa X. So you get your engine pieces together. So most of the Rayquaza, Mega Rayquaza EX deck when they were played, you would see them use a pretty big engine of this guy and maybe use even maybe a couple of this guy just so you can get it early, hopefully. You put this guy down, you grab a bunch of your Rayquazas, a bunch of Shamans, depending on what you have in hand too. And then you play Ultra Balls, discard shit, play down the Shamans, draw a bunch of cards and... You have a really turbo deck like this. Uh, you can even use things like the electrics and all this stuff. Many ways to build this deck. So you guys might think it's weird to only run one Shaman EX, but it gets the job done. I really don't want to play a lot of this Pokemon since it has a lot of downsides to being a pretty weak EX Pokemon and being an easy target for your opponent. Also, I don't really want to overdo the discard and shit. I want to discard specific things and uh, energies and shit. And, you know, we want Tapu Lele GX as well. A bunch of other Pokemon. So getting the effect off, maybe if I had two, I would run more, but maybe not actually, because I'm really happy with how this deck runs. Uh, you play it down, you draw a bunch of shit, and I have my shit together. I'll have my shit ready, uh, even just by playing this one card down. Uh, we have a pretty solid supporting skeleton. It, it really is hard to explain, but my version, like I've said, is kind of different. You don't really necessarily have to go the Turbo Shaman engine to make this deck work. You can just do it uh, more, not necessarily slowly, because I can have a full bench by turn one and turn two anyway. It's that what I'm saying is you don't have to rely on Shaman EX. You can just use things like... Uh, this card right here, uh, Winona, uh, you can use uh, Tapu Lele GX, uh, we, between fucking uh, Winona, the Ultra Balls, uh, Tapu Lele GX, Hoopa X, we, we should have ways to get our pieces in one form or another in hand and get our setup and shit. It's kind of hard to explain, but of course you guys are going to see, in, uh, you guys are going to see in my games anyway. So... Next up, we have a 1-1 Altaria line. I'm really happy to be able to run this card too, Altaria. Uh, you get this guy out. Uh, she can, uh, or it can, uh, both genders, evolve from the first tunnel with Delta Evolution as well. And with its ability, your colorless Pokemon won't have any weaknesses. So this makes uh, Rayquaza EX not really worried about Lightning Pokemon too much, which is weak to Lightning shit. And... Uh, I guess it helps out the other colorless Pokemon too, but we don't really... Uh, I mean, with 9 HP, Altaria's probably not going to survive if she gets attacked on. And that's it. Its attack isn't that great doing 30. Uh, stats are kind of standard, I suppose, stage 1. 
And then the last Pokemon is, well, you gotta have my mind. I always want to run this guy. Block the bench damage. And Dragonite EX is the other colorless Pokemon. So this card is pretty good. Uh, it's a colorless Pokemon, so I can search it. Uh, you probably won't attack with it, but when you do, maybe the auto discard might be nice. It just needs two DCs to work. But the important thing that I'm running this Pokemon is for a pull up its ability. So the weakness of this deck, while you probably don't see it a lot in Expanded as much as you used to, is that this deck is, is still freaking broken. There's just one thing that fucks it up, and that is Pseudo Widow. It's not even Parallel City. A Parallel City is a big problem, of course, because you not only does it fuck up with your Sky Field, you remove Pokemon from your normal bench, like you're going to have less than five. So that can be a bitch. But you can recover playing your own stadium back again next turn and then getting your shit going again. Uh, Pseudo Wuda, though, is once they play it down, you're kind of fucked. If you're playing against a deck that has Pseudo Wudo, uh, this deck, you're going to be at a 120 damage. There's just no other way. Uh, you can pull the Pseudo Wudo, use Lysander, do some shit like that, or Guzma. But it really is a waste. If you're going to waste one turn to get a KO on a Pokemon like that, you're getting one prize, and then they might just use a stretcher or some shit, or play two puzzles and get the guy back. You know, it kind of sucks. So Pseudo Wudo is what makes this deck kind of almost like an auto loss, makes it not being able to do shit. Uh, Parallel City is not so bad, but what I'm saying is this is the, the weakness of this deck, is your bench. Losing Pokemon from your bench or your bench being limited. And I guess against Parallel City, uh, Dragon IDX can't help. When I play this down, I can grab two basic Pokemon and put them into the hand, and then we can play them down. So with Parallel City, maybe you're not so fucked, but against Pseudo Widow, you're kind of fucked. But nevertheless, this is a pretty broken deck. Uh, Hoop by X, I probably didn't talk about it enough, but this is uh, one of the decks that you definitely want to run Hoop by X. You grab it with Ultra Balls, you grab a bunch of your pieces, you want to grab, of course, the uh, Shay Mini X. You want to grab your other Pokemon, play them down. Since you can evolve them uh, on the same turn, if you have like the Spirit Links, you know, you grab these guys, evolve them, remove them from your hand, and then you have strong supporters, a strong supporter draw when you play them. You have a strong Shaman when you play it down. It's just, the deck has a very good flow if you do shit right, if you have a good list and do shit right, which is why it's consistent, which is why it's fast, and which is why it's powerful, since this guy has a great attack. So yeah, that's the basic Pokemon. We run a very big Trainer Skeleton, as you guys can see, with 35 cards. And we're going to talk about him. A spec of choice is Computer Search, of course, in this deck. want to make it very consistent. This is another great way to search maybe the Hoopa, search whatever the fuck I want. Search fucking Winona, actually, with this card. Just get anything you need to make your combos, do the uh, fix your hand with the puzzles that you need to do everything. Get your setup. Excellent. And well, that is the three Ultra Balls. This can transform into Shaman, can transform into Tapulele GX, can transform into this guy. So it's amazing. Uh, flexibility, consistency, excellent synergy. Don't need to say shit with Ultra Balls. And Ultra Balls are important because, as you guys can see, I am running the Professor Lotto combo here. We are going to want to search our Darkness Energy, our basic energies, discard them with the Ultra Ball, and then use Mega Turbo, a 4-4-4. Four, 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 uh, um, we're not lying, it's one card, but a 4, a copy of Mega Turbo. This is my way to instantly power up a bunch of fucking Rayquaza EXs. You put an energy on them with Mega Turbo, then you attach a DC, dude, it's ready to go. I mean, if you're worried about Enhanced Hammer and shit, and you don't, Maybe get the best of DC, uh, manually attach one, play two of these, make a Rayquaza is ready once again. So uh, the deck even has energy acceleration. You can run things like Electrics or Bronzongs. You can do many things with this deck. Run the Keldeo EX, Invasion, Dawnwings and Cross Magix, many ways. But I decided to go with the Mega Turbo, run a four copy of this card. So yeah, the deck is super fast, super good, man. And the other stuff... I guess before we talk about the main stuff, the kind of standard stuff from the deck, of course we do want to run our spirit links, three of these, play it down on the Rayquaza, evolve on the same turn, 
excellent. Skyfield, like I've mentioned, is MVP. You run three of this card. Four might not be too bad, but I think three is the right number. I'm not the type of person that plays my stadium for no reason. I'm going to play it when I need it. Uh, basically, yeah, play it when you need it. You can get the job done. It's fine. Uh, in Expanded, a lot of people play Skyfield anyway, so you might even not even have to worry too much about your own Skyfield. Your opponent might play one down, and then you don't even need to do anything else anymore. Uh, your Skyfields become dead. So I believe three is the right number here. Okay. I mean, we're only going to use this when we're going to get a knock guard that really utilizes Skyfield. Like when I'm going to go over 150 and get a knock guard. And you need to do this just a couple of times, basically. Just a couple of times. You know, three three knockouts on EX or GX Pokemon and you've won. So, it's, it's great, man. So, three is the right number. Uh, of course, uh, I gotta have my standard shit. You got the one Starly Megaphone, the one Field Blower, useful shit. My Stretcher is fine. Uh, don't believe you need uh, Super Rod in this deck, since we don't really want to put energies, basic energies back into the deck. We don't necessarily, we can't shuffle DCs anyway, so Stretcher is the way to go. Gotta have my one Trainer's Mill, good little speed card as well. Uh, the one Float Stone, and standard, you know, my shit is kind of standard. Uh, the, since this is expanded, I'm going to run my two uh, Secret Revia Seekers here. Uh, get any supporter you want. Very good card, of course. So the skeleton is kind of standard in a lot of ways you guys are used to. You guys are probably sick of uh, hearing and looking at. But for the supporter skeleton, I have my one of chorus as well. The same. Great card. Hopefully we get this back with Via Seeker. I run a two Cynthia line and a one end line. Going to go with it like this in this deck. Uh, you can change it as you see fit. Three Juniper, standard. Only one Skyla, since I have, uh, I don't really just, I'm looking for just a single item and shit. We want to grab a bunch of cards in hand. Uh, we don't, we're not looking for anything like rare candy or energy retrieval, so one of this is fine. And the other cards is Winona and Lily. Lily is MVP in this deck as well. You guys shouldn't be surprised to see this card. I mean, it's so great just fucking playing something like, uh... Hoopa EX, grabbing my shit, playing it down, playing something like maybe Shaman EX, or not even playing this, just playing Computer Search, Ultra Ball, Lilying, uh, drawing 8, and then maybe you can do some shit and then play uh, Shaman EX down. So many combos, but it just goes perfectly with a deck like this that I'm running 3 Ultra Ball Computer Search, and I can easily play and evolve my Pokemon on the first turn. I mean... Swab Blue and Altaria can be played down the first turn. I can like add them with Winona when I'm making the play. Uh, this guy, of course, we already talked about him. It's just excellent flow, man. Excellent flow. So these are the supporters. The only one that's left is Lysander. Standard. Wins the game. Good shit. And that's basically it for the skeleton line. It seems kind of, you know, too basic maybe, but it works. Too similar to my other shit. But it works. And the energies, just 11. Maybe I would squeeze in one more if I could. But I don't want to take out any item, any trainer in this deck. And I don't want to remove any of the Pokemon. Choosing the Pokemon was hard too. Like maybe run, not running Hoopa. Or which is kind of like the best team with Rayquaza. Maybe you don't want run the Dark Guys. You run something else. You run something like Eels with it. Or a bunch of other Pokemon. Uh, I didn't want to do the same shit like Rails again though. And uh, I wanted to take advantage of Mega Turbo at its maximum. So the way it is, I really like it. You can do all sorts of shit like I've said. You can even do something like uh, Water Pokemon with Mana VX. So much flexibility. Great, great deck. I've probably said this a million times. But yeah, the energies. 11 Darkness, 4 DC. DC is NVP. You want to see it, you want to attach it, get your attacks with Rayquaza super quickly. And, man, this deck is just freaking broken. Uh, it was freaking broken, because like I've said, thanks to Pseudo Wudo, uh, this deck kind of just can't really seriously compete and have a great chance against other shit. I mean, I guess you can run your own Pseudo Wudo and do shit like that and block your opponent's 
for running the Zorok GX with Skyfield and do that that kind of shit. Uh, I don't run that card. Uh, yeah, but if your opponent plays down a pseudo Wudo, it's really rough. So you kind of have to accept that fact. But I'm really happy I'm playing with this deck. Finally, using the deck, I'm gonna show you guys some games, of course, and. You know, it's kind of sad. I wish I could play it during the time it was kind of meant to play it. It was actually the best deck, the good deck. So, but I didn't I didn't have the cards, man. You know, sometimes, a lot of the times, it takes me a while to get the cards. So, we're, we're playing with it now, you know. I'm trying it now. It does, it still is great. If your opponent doesn't play Pseudo Wudo, doesn't play, maybe fucks with you a lot with Parallel City. And, you know, your, your engine... Flows nicely and you get your shit going. This guy gets one hit knockouts. So unless your opponent does similar shit. Or if they have a better pace than you. They're faster. You know you're going to win. You're going to be the winning guy. Winning girl. Uh, Mega Rayquaza EX is the balls. Super cool. Motherfucker. Okay so I think I rambled long enough. Not really the kind of. It's not a simple deck uh, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, that I can explain to you guys. There's all, so, all sorts of interactions and shit. Uh, the concept is simple, but, you know, every card can have, like, multiple functions in a way. So, really cool. Uh, you guys are going to see when I play it. It's not something as simple that I can just explain uh, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3. Anyway, so, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe, leave a like, share this with your friends. Say Roll24, what's up?